Hi there, my name is Justin Howard and I'm a Windows developer over here in Staccato's Cambridge office. What I'm going to do today is show you how the TV within the home can be used for more than just watching television and DVDs. In front of me I have a variety of personal consumer devices and I'm going to show how these basically can be hooked up and you can use them within a, a home environment as if they're just part of your everyday life. What I have here is a digital still camera with a dock that's uh, got wireless USB integrated in it. I also have a digital still camera to give you an example of how wireless USB can be integrated directly within the camera, as well as a video camera with the same and also a mock-up of a mobile phone that contains externally the wireless USB uh, as well as a battery pack. However, this can be integrated within the phone because the chip itself is quite small. And I'll show you some shots of the uh, LG Scion mobile phone prototype where that exactly that has been done. Okay, so uh, typically what we would do here is we would turn the camera on and take pictures as you'd expect. And then after we've come into the home and we're ready to share these uh, pictures with the family and everybody else, then we can simply turn on the wireless USB aspect of this device and it will connect with the television and then we can basically interact with the photos. So if I then go over to the TV, it's offering me the ability to connect to this particular device. I say yes. And then the photos from the phone are basically now available within the television. So I can go into the photo element of the TV and within there I then start to see the photos that are stored on the camera and I can basically go in here and I can browse as I want and then I can choose an appropriate photo that I want to see and up it will come. Cue the slideshow. Okay, so this is how a camera typically connects in and if I take you with the um, external camera to the back of the TV, then you can basically see that there's nothing particularly unusual in how this connects together. Fortunately, I'll need to move my laptop in order to do this. However, what you can essentially see here is we have nothing unusual on the back of the TV. We merely have a wireless USB dongle that's plugged in through the USB port in order to do this browsing. Equally, this could be integrated into the television such that um, we can then have a completely integrated solution. Okay, so if I go ahead now and plug back this device again um, into there, okay, and I'll just rearrange everything back in the room so that we can carry on. Okay, so that was a demonstration of how the camera can basically be worked with the television. What I will do now is show you how the mobile phone works in a similar kind of fashion. So, much in the same way as before, as I say, slightly odd setup, but all will come apparent. If I turn the device on, it will then automatically connect back to the television. Um, and once we're connected, we're offered the device again. So we can say yes and connect. And then we can go into photos and we can see our photos as before. And this seems like an appropriate point in order to show you the setup of the Scion phone, which essentially this is the mobile phone module that fits inside the phone. Um, the Staccato chip is here and is roughly the size of a fingernail. Um, and there you go, elegant new technology. The key ele elements being the fact that this is a very low power device and that it's uh, capable of very fast throughput, which is the kind of thing that you want when you have uh, mobile phones that contain a high amount of storage, such as MP3s and movies and everything else. And in fact, I can leave this particular slideshow area and I can go out into the movie area and we can access the movies on that mobile phone in a similar kind of way. So if I go back from there, I can go over to the movies and then I can choose any particular movie I wish to play. In this case, I think I'll select something related to the 
to also driving in India. Okay. So what I've shown you here basically is the way that a mobile phone could be integrated within the phone. Uh, and that leads on to the final part of this demonstration, which is the video camera portion, which is where the device has been integrated into the base here. And after I get a battery charger, I'll come right back. Okay, so we've got the camera all charged up, and I'm currently recording with it at the moment, and I will now stop the recording, and we can transfer it onto the TV itself. Okay, recording has been stopped. I can then uh, turn on the wireless USB portion, at which point it will then form a connection with the television. Um, and the connection screen will appear just as before, at which point we can then access the movies through the main menu system. So I now accept yes. The main menu system comes up. I can then go over to movie. And then from movie I can access my new recording number 40 in this case. Preparing to display it, and then there we go. Okay, so so what I've basically given you here is uh, a demonstration of the different types of device that we can connect within a TV. So that's the mobile phone um, device, different types of camera offering that are available as well as video cameras and video content within high definition. So what you can see is we have a wide range of personal devices that can connect to the TV and enhance our experience within the home much more than just watching television and DVDs. Thanks for watching.